Hey guys, today is all about how do we get better B-roll? How can we be a little more creative? I'll be using the Hoem iSteady Mobile Plus, the 2022 version, so it's the updated version of the gimbal, and I'll be using an iPhone 11. So let's get creative and make some better B-roll. The first move we're gonna look at is the pan. I know, you've seen it a thousand times, and so have I but it is still a good shot. Now, when I do the pan, look, two hands on the gimbal and I'm rotating at the hips. I'm kind of locking my arms in so I get the smoothest rotation I possibly can. As I say, it's a good shot and it's a nice piece of B-roll, but let's change it. Let's do something different. Let's get down low. Let's get down low and see what difference it makes. Now you can see, I'm doing a slow pan, but because the grass is close, it gives a sense of speed and motion going across greater than the standard pan. And it's a whole different angle because you're looking at it from a lower perspective. That I think is pretty good. Now, why don't we get creative with a pan? Why don't we do a walking pan? Hmm? Check this out. I'm basically walking forward with the gimbal in front and I'm rotating it to the side and I'm rotating it all the way to the back. So the pan is from the front of me all the way around to the back of me while I'm walking. That, I think, is pretty cool. That is a creative pan move that you don't normally see very often. So that's a way we can up our game and get better B-roll. Now, the next one we're going to look at is the reveal. And this one's been done quite a few times before. You can see I'm coming from behind a subject and I'm exposing the scene behind. I've locked the focus and the exposure on the scene that I want to show after. That way I'm not getting a bumper shift. So you can see it's just a nice smooth motion across revealing the scene I'm in. You can do it left to right, right to left, up, down, whichever way you want to do it, they all work. Now you always hear you need to lock the focus and exposure because if not, this is what's going to happen. You can see when I come from behind the, the subject here, I get that brightness and the focus shift when I do that. Now they say that's bad and that's wrong, but we could potentially use it creatively. So I'll leave that one up to you to see how can you make it creatively? Because when I come from behind that subject, you get that little pop. It's almost like a little explosion into the scene. Maybe if I speed warp that a bit, it could be an effect. Just something to think about when you're doing some of these reveals that you can do things a little more creatively than the average person. So let's slide right in to our next move. And that is, you guessed it, the slide. So we're gonna use the gimbal to create a slider type movement. So instead of walking forward holding the gimbal, we're gonna be walking forward, but the gimbal is gonna be pointed to the left or to the right. So the image will be sliding past the screen versus walking towards it or away from. So you can see here in the clip, I'm just sliding past the piece of artwork and it creates a different sense of motion because I'm going forward, but everything's passing by on a different angle. So that creates a different bit of B-roll that's a little more creative than just your standard walking to or walking away from the subject. The next one we're going to look at is slow motion. Now, with the gimbal, it only does 1080 at 120 frames per second. Be aware of that. It doesn't do it 4K. So I love slow motion, and I love what it's included into some video clips, and I love uh, watching a lot of uh, slow-mo stuff. I think it's really cool and could be incorporated very creatively. So... Didn't have much else to do slow-mo with, so what do we do? I use myself. Here I am doing my best dance move possible, and I think it works, but it shows you how the uh, slow motion works. And I think, again, like I say, it's a great thing to add in to your video is a little bit of slow-mo here and there, and you can create some really good effects with it. Wide angle, normal lens, telephoto lens, whatever lenses you have available on your cell phone, you can access them. Now, here's a shot. Now, this was taken on a different day than the other one. Just so if you all of a sudden wonder why it's bright and sunny, because it was filmed on a different day. But anyways, this is a normal lens and I'm just panning across this little pond. Looks great. Now what happens when I go into wide angle? Oh, do you see the problem on the right there? The arm of the gimbal shows when you go into your wide angled lens. Now it's not a problem because you saw I just tilted the gimbal into flashlight mode, and as soon as I did that, the elbow disappears. The scene didn't change, just the elbow disappeared. So that's your workaround to use a wide-angled lens with the Hoam iSteady Mobile Plus. Go into flashlight mode, use wide-angle, not a problem. 
but look at the difference between the two, between the normal and the wide angle. The wide angle makes it look like it's a lot bigger pond than it actually is. Let me put these clips side by side for you so you can really see the difference between the normal lens and the wide angled lens. There's a dramatic difference between the two. So don't be scared or afraid to use different lenses for different purposes to create different feelings and effects. Don't just stay in the standard lens. That's what I'm getting at. Play with it. Change your lensing up to create some better b-roll with your cell phone now another thing we could do some of this was filmed this day and some of it was filmed from the other time i was out at the pond we're going to add foreground to add some interest not only to interest you can add a sense of speed if you remember when i was down low doing the grass coming across anything coming across creates some more interest so you can see i'm just kind of using a bit of the uh, plants here to create a bit of foreground which adds depth to the scene. It adds a kind of a peaking reveal to the scene. It adds a bit of motion more to the scene. It could be used really effectively, almost like a voyeur poking through the trees, spying through to the pond in the back or whatever your subject is. So it can be used very creatively, but adding foreground adds a lot of interest to your image. And I think it really ups the game and creates a little more mystery and effect to it. Now, some other things you can do, because we're talking with the Hoham, they have the Moment apps. So there's a lot of different features within that one. There's Dolly Zoom and Inception and Fantastic. There's a lot of different special effects within it that could be used creatively. Now, look at this little Dolly Zoom that I did here when I was down at the lake. You can see how that background works with that. It's so cool that you can either push the background further away from your subject or you can pull your background in and really compress the scene to your subject. You can do it both ways. So I think that is really cool. I love doing this dolly zoom. The trick to that is trying to walk as steady as possible and in a straight line. You don't want to be bobbing around too much because otherwise your object or subject will be really bouncing around. But yeah, I love the effect. Now, another one that can be very creative, but you got to use it in the right place in the right time for it to really uh, have that impact, and that is Inception. Check it out on this piece of artwork. I think that is really cool, twisting and turning and spinning. The effect, in my opinion, is awesome. You can incorporate it into your video, but use it creatively. Otherwise, it tends to be kind of out of place because it's such an unusual move where you're doing that spinning around. And I love with the Hoan that he has the ability to do a huge rotation. As I say, you incorporate some of these unusual and different pieces of B-roll into your video that you're doing and you can get a really cool look when you add some of this creative B-roll other than just your standard kind of pan, walk, move. Get creative. Think outside the box. What ends if I use a wide-angled lens and get down low and, and move? I've shown that in the past. It looks really cool because it's a different angle that you don't normally see. What ends if we get up high shooting down and moving? Think outside the box. What ends if we do an inception low to the ground? There's so many possibilities of things that you can do to get better B-roll. So anyways, that's it for this one. Hopefully I've given you some new ways of doing things on old ways. Like I say, a pan move is a pan move. But what ends if we do the walking pan? See? Think outside the box. Get creative. Have fun. All right. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos like this. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. So until the next time.